Welcome back and hello, and you're going to get the updates from us on the Q&A questions right now. So let's get into them. And the first question is from Sir Andrew, and he asks, could you help us picture out and visualize the efficiency of Tower Niche products? Could you suggest a picture to better visualize its greatness? And the second question is, in what stage can we see a product demo or user interface of Tower Mainnet so as to help us get a better look of it and a film? Cheers. So for the first question, um, now with ChatGPT, we can compare it to ChatGPT and say that uh, one way to look at it, so you can imagine a picture of a ChatGPT just in a language that it understands you completely and is never wrong, is always accurate. And moreover, you can also give it commands to execute. So it's not only informational robot, it's also a robot that, that's serving you. And that's because Tau is also a sort of specification language. And on top of that, it is connected to everyone. So everyone uh, speaks with Tau this way and it is all combined into one large database and everything can be accounted together. In regards to the product demo or user interface, that's something we're working on currently. We have quite a lot of the wireframes ready, we're still working on that. And um, I think we'll be able to see some early wireframes, at least in around September of this year. And then obviously that's not the fully working product demo, but um, we'll be able to at least show you what Tau can look like. Cheers. And the next question is from Iradium. And they ask, how and in what ways can Tau Live be integrated with Tau Mainnet? And when is the public launch? Tau Life uh, can be integrated with Tau uh, Mainnet, uh, uh, of course, uh, via user wallets and uh, user uh, wallets in Tau Mainnet and uh, using Tau Mainnet as the main cause, uh, main currency of uh, Tau Life. Uh, also, we can move uh, further with integration by integrating uh, some parts of knowledge and uh, knowledge sharing in Tau mainnet from Tal Life, but it yet to be absorbed based on uh, upcoming Tau release and uh, a lot of uh, ways to think about. Uh, when is the public launch? It's uh, Tau Life itself almost ready, but since uh, we have uh, Tau coming, uh, we of course want to integrate uh, Tau Life with Tau in some ways possible so the public launch will be this year all right thank Thanks. you very much andre and the second question is does tau start with zero knowledge then users will build it from scratch should we input all the definitions of words to tau like copy and paste all dictionaries encyclopedias and all the facts of the internet should all users be doing that then we can start a simple discussion where Tau can understand simple facts. Could you provide for the community a Tau demo on how to use Tau? Because it seems unclear in the user viewpoint. Thank you. Yes, Tau will start from scratch, but it doesn't mean that in order to say something, all the definitions are needed. So for example, one can say, I like chocolate, and the other one can say, I don't like chocolate. And the system does not need to know what is chocolate in order to see that those two statements are opposite of each other. With time, just by saying things as a byproduct, this as for itself gives meaning to words, not the same meaning that we as humans know. Yes, uh, even the dictionary cannot pin down exactly what is chocolate. Yes, uh, th yeah. there is a lot of information out there that is already formalized. Of course, we can import into Tau, users can import into Tau already formalized knowledge. Amazing, fantastic, thanks I had. And the next question from Sir Andrew is, why is Tau the only hope you see for humanity? And could you explore more? Thank you. Well, one, uh, two, two big problems uh, that humanity is facing is social coordination and stupidity. And in those two things, Tau can help a lot. All right. Thank you very much, Ahad. And the next question is from Professor X. OpenAI's new project, Super Alignment, is telling to the world that they can solve the AI alignment problem within four years. They have huge funds to hire many very smart and talented people on different parts of the globe to speed up and reach its goals. It's possible that other projects are secretly doing this as well to create the super AI. Is Tau Testnet a multi-year project? And they also say, 
I hope Tau Mainnet can be launched sooner than four years so we can actually have a real working product that can be used. Thanks. Well, yes, it will be at least much, much sooner than four years about OpenAI and other projects. We have some very unique technologies that are uh, very necessary in order to solve, for example, the AI alignment problem. We are in the process of patenting th those technologies. We will be a unique uh, player in this world. All right, fantastic. Thanks, Ahad. And the next question is from Professor Y. And they ask, what is the impact of people using Tau and able to scale discussions and reach consensus? Why is it needed and important for everyone? Um, one way to look at it is the ability to combine brain power. So if you have two experts, three experts, it's usually better than one expert. So what about one million experts? Right now, they cannot co combine their brain power, but without they they will be able to. All right, fantastic. And the next question is from Ralph. Are there plans to hire more developers to speed up Tau product release? Yes, absolutely. As the team continues to move towards its goals, we're going to be expanding the team as well. Various areas from design, front end, uh, back end, making sure that um, we, we listen to you guys uh, in terms of what Tau should be. So we make sure that we have a, a, a release that aligns with the community and um, that also comes alongside uh, expanding the team to make sure we can do that properly. The next question is from Pluto and they ask, can you make a product demo? Like, how will it look like? And how can it be used by normal people? Will it look like Facebook, Messenger, or Telegram, or Wiki? Just give us a clue because it's hard to visualize it. When can it be done? As I mentioned earlier, uh, we are working on the wireframes for Tau. Now, how to explain it? It's very difficult to explain in words, but you'll see wireframes as soon as we can um, start to share that out with you guys. Um, that's something we'll be working on for a little while now. Core components of, of Tau are there, and I'll be able to give you guys a bit of an overview and explanation. You have to use your vision to, to go alongside these wireframes, but um, I'll, I'll give you an explanation as, as, as they're ready. Cheers. The next question is from Jane, and she asks, what is the update on VC support? If none, why is it taking such a long time? Is Tau too complex for them that they can't understand and they don't want to fund a project they don't understand? Or is it because there is a still a long wait for a real product and are afraid that it's just a theory that cannot be real? Well, one of the things we've been working on for a long time is making sure that people really do understand Tau. Um, and we've gotten better at that. Now, we've overcome that barrier in many ways. So, for example, most of our community members now can explain Tau in a way in which is pretty much there. But I think the most important part for a VC is for them to see some demo. Um, and that's one of the reasons that we are pushing so hard on getting a demo out. So we're working alongside VC scouts to be able to bring on VCs and they are ready to um, take a much closer look at what we do once we uh, have a product ready. So all of these things pretty much come together in helping us uh, get funding and um, helping you guys realize more of what we have been working on from a uh, product perspective as well so um it's all it's all coming together at the same point just the next question is from david why does tau look so great on paper but it ranks not even in the top 100 of crypto market cap that's a challenging one to explain because we all know that the crypto market cap isn't full of the most high quality projects. However, um, at the same time, we've been working on making sure that it's easy to understand Tau. And the first thing we had to do was really take a much deeper and narrower approach. And that means we really had to deep into the nitty gritty of um, the, the, the core functionality of Tau and what really propels Tau and the market that towers in um, so we really had to deep into that and make that easy to understand and now we can do that it will be much easier to do marketing um, on a traditional basis instead of just crypto based marketing like we've been doing before and the next question is from curious george and they ask so once Tau Discovery is patented and finished is that the time you can launch mainnet which means more years to wait right i see here in the and in the upcoming questions that the uh... Um, maybe people assume that we are waiting for the patent, patent to be granted, but that's not the case. We are only submitting a provisional patent, provisional patent application, and then we can uh, publish all the 
of the secret. Um, it's by no means uh, waiting years until we uh, get the patent granted and the work on mainnet is ongoing and it will be released at the moment it is ready. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Ahad. And the next question is from Let Me Go. How many years is Townet Testnet? Is it three to five years? Shall we wait until 2030 to see Town Mainnet? Um, now, we've given a bit of an overview in terms of when the Mainnet will be released. Um, it's certainly not going to be four years, as one of the previous questions uh, asked. Um, but we're looking to push that as soon as possible. Um, we're not have, being held up by the grant of our patent. We are going to be filing the provisional, and um, that isn't a hold up to the, uh, the main net itself. And the next question is from Jose Rizal. When will Tau Live release? And when will the other products like TML release as well? Are you planning to delay the release so they are at the same time as Tau Mainnet? And also thank you for your patience uh, working on this project. So. Um, Tomash is working on TML. He's working on a documentation, um, and I'll pass it over to Andre for his uh, update on the Tau Live release as well. About type Tau Live release, um, since we uh, are on a brink of uh, Tau release uh, and uh, endless possibilities uh, that are opening with it, uh, I'm planning to find the best ways to integrate Tau Life with Tau and uh, uh, release release it um, this year. Okay, um, from the Tau part, uh, I think that uh, this year we will have the the initial release. So uh, Andre will continue with the work on mining and so on, in Tau Life and so on. Yeah, um, well, there is no plan to delay release of TML or anything. Uh, we try to release uh, TML as soon as possible. Uh, um, on TML, the, there are some uh, things which we need to, to finish before releasing. Uh, one is uh, replacing the parser with our library. And uh, uh, also, uh, there needs to be some, some more testing uh, regarding this, this change of the parser and uh, everything so there's there's no no uh, no planned delay to 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 wait for tau or anything amazing thank you so much guys and the next question is from blissful i had what is your short-term goals that you want for tau to achieve within three to five years i hope tau patent and mainnet is launched and people are already using it by 2028 as I said before, it's not uh, three to five years until we get a patent granted. It's by, by no means like that, and it's by no means a three to four, a three to five years. It's much, much uh, less than that. Uh, Karim gave an estimation of Q1 2024 for testnet, but it's possible to be even a little bit more optimistic. Uh, of course, everything can happen, but uh, as you heard in uh, previous updates and also in this update from Andre and David who are working on it, there is uh, really no problem. It's it's coming. It's coming and it's coming fast. Amazing. All right. This question is from Sisyphus and they ask, what is your burning motivation that keeps you doing this multi-year, even though the Tau project is super difficult and complex? Well, I can speak for myself that I'm interested only in things that can uh, radically change the world. And I don't know anything that is near Tau in this regard. And the last question is from Aristotle. And this is to Ahad. They say, hi, Ahad. What is Tao's philosophy? Can you name one or does it create a new philosophy? If so, can you please share your personal thoughts on it? To try to summarize it in one concept, it is about bringing the world where uh, computers can understand us. So imagine a world where computers can understand us. This would be a very different world. Tao gives a way for computers to understand us. So we will need, we the people, and we need to speak in languages that are a little bit closer to computer languages. But as a benefit, we will get all this utopian reality where computers understand us. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Ahad. And thank you all of you for your Q&A questions. You will see us on Telegram as usual. Please continue to get them in. And we'll see you on the other side. Cheers.